Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm cooking up for you a whole lobster with this beautiful sauce. Mm -hmm. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for returning. Now let's get into this video. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop. I So here I have a whole lobster that I've cut into two and cleaned. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to use the back of my knife and I'm just going to break the claw so that I can get the butter mix inside of it. Now I'm going to be making a butter sauce. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm using fresh parsley, scallion, red chili, garlic cubes and a bit of ginger. Now I'm just going to use my blender, my handheld blender and I'm just going to, yeah, just chop it up. Now you don't want to do it so it's too fine, you still want to have quite a bit of texture. So after you've done that, just add your butter in. Now I'm using unsalted butter. Now I'm going to season my lobster with, I've got a mixture of seasoning, you know me, I like to dash a little of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, but I'll leave everything in the description box for you. Now I'm just going to add a bit of cayenne pepper. Now this is total optional, but I do like the little heat that it brings. Now once I've done that, I'm just going to go ahead now and put that butter mix on the lobster. Make sure you get it into the claw, hence why we kind of broke it in the first place. Now once this is done, I put it back in the fridge just to harden the butter for about 20 minutes. Now when you're ready to cook, just in a heated pan, make sure your pan is hot, just take your lobster out and put it down. Now I cooked these for, I'd say on this side, I did it for about three minutes and I flipped it over for another couple of minutes. Then I flipped it back over for about another minute or so. Make sure your lobster is pink all the way through on the shell and your meat is properly cooked before you serve this. Guys, thank you so much for coming to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you know when i upload a new video i do upload on a monday wednesday and a friday you can also follow me on instagram and facebook at shells home style kitchen now i'm just flipping it back over you know just to, to kind of get a little bit of char on the meat I'm going to go ahead now and add the rest of the butter mix sauce. I should have said before, don't put all your butter mix sauce, but hey, never too late. <laughs> I'm saying it now. I'm saying it now. Once, maybe after about seven to eight minutes and you're sure that your lobster is fully cooked, go ahead and remove it. Just leave it to one side, you know, just to let it rest for a bit whilst we work on the sauce. Now in the pan, the same pan I didn't, I just after removing the lobster, I added in a little bit of water. Now I'm going to add in my lobster claw. Now when you do it this way, you know, the claw is there and it just helps that sauce just to be so rich and just full of flavour. Keep 
just make sure you get that sauce all the way down because you know we set flavor in our food so i'm just gonna jazz up this sauce now i'm just gonna add you know the jamaican original pickle pepper you know add about a tablespoon of that because i think this just just mm, just bring that sauce right up and i'm also gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of the spicy mango Just give that a good, good, good mix. Now your lobster tail should take about, I'd roughly say about four to five minutes to cook. I did add a little bit of water cause it dried out. You know, no harm done, just add a little bit more. I'm adding about a heap teaspoon of garlic powder and I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of butter once you're happy that your clothes are cooked make sure it cook just go ahead and remove them from the pan Now also for this sauce, I taste your sauce at this point and then you know you can tweak it, you know, if it wants a little bit of sour, if it wants a little bit of sweet. For me, mine needed a little bit more sweet, so I did go ahead and add about a, a tablespoon and a half of honey. Just going to let this simmer now and come reduce and then your sauce will be ready. Guys, it's so important to taste your pot. People can give you recipes, but if it's not up to your taste buds, it's not gonna work. Taste your pot and adjust it. Now you're gonna get that sauce and you're just gonna pour it all over your lobster. Oh my God. Guys, when I told you this was so good, <laughs> I really should have taken a clip after I've ate this because <clears throat> Right, you don't know me, you don't know I am mature when I tell you, say everything was churned. <laughs> churned, I don't even know if that's the right word. No, that's not the right word. Don't come for me. <laughs> everything was chew up and chew up and bite up and bite up. And yes, you know, oh, we deal with it around here. <laughs> oh my god, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button for your girl and you know I can't leave without a you know the other little piece of the lobster just you know for just mm, make you lick up your lips and lick it and lick it and lick it and say I like it and like it and like it <laughs> guys once again thank you so much for watching and as usual to aim high work hard but smart because the sky's the limit and only you can limit yourself catch you in the next video bye